we are going to explain the basic equations for the stellar evolutions. So we are going to use the two more assumptions. First assumption is the mean free path of gas is much shorter than the size of the suns. So if you consider the stars, the mean free path of the gas is much shorter than the size of the stars. So gas is frequently collide in this small region. Then temperature is determined at these small regions. Also the temperature is determined in the very different regions. Then temperature T sub 1 in these regions and T sub 2 is a, of the inner regions. Then temperature is different. T sub 1 is different from the T sub 2. Different temperature is assigned in the different regions. This is what we call the local thermodynamic equilibrium. So system star has a different temperature at different point. The most of the stars, actually mean free pass of the gas is much much shorter than the size of the stars. And the second assumption is the equilibrium between the matter and radiation. The temperature of the matters is the same with the radiation, temperature of light. So this is very different. In the case of the Earth, we have atmospheres. This is the Earth. This is the atmospheres. Temperature of the atmosphere is a temperature of the atmosphere is a 300 Kelvin. But the temperature of the light on the Earth, temperature of the light is dominated, actually coming from the suns. Radiation determined by the suns, so this means the temperature of the light is a 6,000 Kelvin. So these two temperatures are very different. But in the case of stars, we consider the equilibrium between the matter and radiation. The physical quantities we are going to discover is the density, density of gas inside of our stars and temperatures and the mass fraction of element. So we are going to explain the latest mass fraction of element. And the order quantity is a function of R. This is the distance from the center of our stars. R is a distance from the centers because we use the assumption of the spherical symmetry. Physical quantity is a function of times. Okay, T is a time. Then basic equation to describe the physical quantity is a conservation mass, conservation momentum. Conservation momentum is a equivalent to the equation of motion and the conservation of angular momentum. But this conservation of angular momentum is not required because thus we use assumption of the spherical symmetry. And the conservation of energies and the change of abundance of element by the nuclear reactions produce the heavier element. The first of all, we are going to study the conservation of mass. So mass of a star within the R is a m R. So we integrate of the these regions. So four pi R squares. This means you could consider shell of a spheres. This regions. In this case, this R primes. The surface area of these spheres express 4 pi r prime squares. This is surface area. The r prime, dr prime 
is the width of the shell. Then volume is expressed surface area is a 4 pi r prime squares times dr prime. Area times height give us the volume of a shell. So actually this is a co correspond to the volume. Volume times density give us the mass. So in the differential forms, this is the equations. dm over dr is a 4 pi r square times density. This is the conservation mass. In the case of the conservation of momentum, so we are going to use the equation of motion, ma equal f, ma equal f. Okay. Then ma, this is correspond to ma. Delta m is a mass of the shell, so. This is the mass of the, this shell. So S is the area, surface area of the shell. So it should be the expressed 4 pi r square. And the dr is the width of the shell. So this is dr. Time density gives us the mass of the, this shell. So ma is the mass times acceleration. Acceleration is r2 dot. Equal this is force. So force has a three terms. First term is a gravity. So mass inside of the, this region is a m. So this m corresponds to the mass inside of the shell times a mass of the shell delta m. So this is you can use this equation rho s dr and these two terms these two terms is a pressure so shell is pushed by the inner regions and the outer regions so this part is a pressures due to the inner regions this is a pressure due to the outer regions. So you have to subtract because the outer region push the shell inward, opposite directions. And then if you consider the Taylor series expansions, PR minus PR plus DR. So this terms is expressed PR plus DP DR DR. Then PR is going to be cancelled out. So it becomes minus dp d dr. Then you can substitute. This is here. Then you will get the equation of motions. Acceleration is equal. Acceleration is r2 dot. Equal minus gm over r squares. Minus 1 over rho. Rho is density. Round p, round r. This is the basic equations for the from the equation motions. We call the conservation momentum. Then in the case of the hydrostatic equilibrium, so derivative with respect to time is zero. So this becomes zero. So from the these equations, you can find this equation. But this part is a low is density is positive g is positive m is mass is positive r square is positive so this is positive positive times negative because negative so pressure decreases outward so if you draw the pressures vertical lines and the horizontal is a radius from the center of a stars the pressure is central pressure is a p sub zero pressure is decreasing outward yeah? decreasing decreasing in some positions pressure becomes zero so this point the pressure is zero 
So this is actually the surface. Correspond the surface of a star. So this means this is radius of a star. Okay, so we introduce the conservation mass and the conservation momentum. Next one's using the hydrostatic equilibrium. We could estimate the central pressures of our stars. So from the conservation momentum, we have this equation. Also conservation mass, we have this equation. So this is equation ones, equation two. So if you divide it by the equation ones over equation two, so dr is going to be cancelled out. So dp over dr, dm over dr. So dr is going to cancel out and dp over dm. And the right hand side also we could calculate. Then from this equation, you can integrate in the both sides of the dm. So dp equal minus gm. 4 pi r to the fourth dm 0 to the total mass. So central regions pressure is a p0 a pm is a total mass. So you could perform the integral. So come to the, this. And the pm, as I explained, pressure at the surface is zero, of course. Then you could move to the next lines. So central pressures can be expressed. The, um, this minus is going to be cancelled plus. So express the GM over 4 pi R to the fourth G, DM. So R is a function of M. So it's quite difficult to perform the disintegrals. But we know that R is always smaller than the radius of our stars. And the radius of the star is a constant quantity. So you can substitute R. You can easily perform the disintegrals. And it becomes a this quantity. Gm squares over 8 pi R to the fourth. So you could estimate the lowest pressure, central pressure of us does using the this equation.